It's mm -hmm. really, really weird to me. I, I, I struggle with it as well. Yeah. Um, and and, and I, I remember when Jackass came out or when it was going to come out, I remember thinking, yeah, there, there's a... Uh, this is something that that would resonate. What we're doing, it's wild, it's crazy. I think I can picture it being really popular. The problem that I envisioned us having is to being allowed on TV. Sure. Jackass star Steve O has his thoughts on Dana White's power slap. We, we found ways to get away with showing what, what we do. I don't know how this is on TV. Sure. It's no, crazy. I wanted the same thing. And, and I think he speaks for many when he says this, including former UFC star Shale Sonnen. But I think it still does come down to why, why are you guys, why are you letting the guy hit you? Why are you letting him hit you? Right. I've never driven around town and seen a studio where it's, hey, come in and sign up. And I've never <laughs> met a guy that goes, oh, I'm a coach and I teach people to slap. That just hasn't happened to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you don't have that kind of training, if you don't have that preparation, right. if you don't have that sacrifice, right. to, to me, I don't, I, I don't know that you're a sport. I, I don't necessarily feel like power slap is even like maybe it is popular but there's something that about like what what we did that was kind of cute silly clever you know as well as dangerous sure and the slap thing just doesn't feel like it's that personally it feels like many share the same sentiment especially when the president of the ufc committed an act of domestic violence against his wife with the very name of the series he launched white does not see it as a negative clearly he sees his association as a positive that controversy sells and being the face of the venture could only aid the process of attracting more eyeballs what is so vital to the viewer taking in white's competition is the following whether it's boxing mixed martial arts or whatever it's protect yourself at all times fighters while they're trying to inflict damage on one another and you might say that the injuries that are possible in mixed martial arts are worse looking than the injuries in slap fighting in slap fighting there is no defense you literally are not allowed to protect yourself and so what you get is basically just two people trading concussive blows for one another dr brian sutterer a sports doctor who breaks down concussions and various injuries that occur from our favorite athletes and teams would weigh in it gets this false sense of safety and security because a lot of us don't associate a slap with being something that could have serious injury consequences and most slaps, like what we see right here, where it truly is the palm of the hand hitting the face, while still dangerous and having risk, aren't going to be necessarily as bad as maybe a direct punch. But a lot of slap fighting is actually this, basically an open-handed punch, where if you strike somebody with more the hard bones of the wrist or the carpus, is really no different than just punching someone. Your wrist bones sit right underneath this lower portion of your palm. And so if you make contact with someone's face, striking with that portion of your wrist, it's not a slap at all. It's essentially equivalent to an open-handed punch. I mean, look at this one from their promo video. This is absolutely not a slap. This is just hitting somebody with the hard palm of your hand. That certainly is enough impact that it could be causing concussions with every subsequent blow. Many neurologists took aim at the Nevada State Athletic Commission for sanctioning this competition because of what the reality of this sport really is. Chris Nowinski, co-founder of Boston University's CTE Center, who has gone on the record saying he has had many concussions through his soccer career as a youngster, collegiate football player at Harvard, and pro wrestler at the WWE, he would also give his thoughts. He told Time Magazine in an interview that this power slap league is a recipe for brain injuries. Nowinski suggested they should be ashamed for creating and backing a sport that he said could put people at serious risk of brain injury. Nowinski noted the fencing response from one competitor in Power Slap. Many will remember Tua Tungavailoa displaying this when he was concussed in September. It is widely believed that an observed fencing response is associated with brain injury, says April Crowell, PhD, a licensed clinical neuropsychologist at the Brain Center. And this could be experienced whether it's the first or fifth time. The fencing response is when a person's body appears locked up, with their arms taking on 
an unnatural position. A 2009 study noted that the fencing response is an observational marker then can discern between a mild brain injury and a moderate one, positing that this could also be the difference between temporary damage and a permanent traumatic brain injury, or TBI. Dr. Nikos Evangelou, clinical associate professor in neurology at the University of Nottingham, told Sky Sports, One of the problems with power slap is that the participants are penalized when they move or flinch. Any movement that might reduce the effect of the blow to the head is penalized. He said the impact to the head from an angle can cause rotational forces on the brain, which he says is a recipe for disaster. Professor Evangelou added, it's all a matter of time before we see more serious brain injury from a dissection. Nitin Agarawal, a neurosurgeon at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, told the Washington Post, one of those slaps can be life-altering, adding that no amount of preparation prevents the actual blow. You see these people pass out from one blow. In reality, what that is, is they just suffered a concussion. They suffered a traumatic brain injury, he said. Anybody who presents to the emergency room after a blow like that is being worked up with the full trauma workup, including a trauma pan scan, which includes a full body CT scan and a scan of their head. I would not be surprised if there's both visible and occult brain injury. So I'm very worried for these participants. Nowinski would call the entire event sad and remarked, it reminds us that people who don't take the risks often exploit those who do.